back. So, uh, Sean, I love this uh, this graphic that you're showing here. It kind of encom uh, encompasses or encapsulates everything that we try to do in our business every single day, doesn't it? It does. So let me start over. Since I lost you, uh, the the uh, the reason why we put this call together today is because most of you, if not all of you, that are joining us live have been exposed to a lot of the special training that Seth and I created and presented at the like the Billion Dollar Seller Summit and along with our friends at Seller Tools. So you already understand some of the strategies. So I don't wanna bore you to death with like 40,000 slides of more tactics. So today's call um, has two, uh, two parts to it. Number one, we're here. We wanna make ourselves available to answer any questions you may have about the four crazy strategies that we shared. Maybe you remember the uh, Amazon listing value stack, the listing tripwire strategy, the AOB funnel, which is Seth's favorite, or the creative funnel. So that's number one. Let us make ourselves available to answer those questions. Tracy, which is also part of our team, is hanging out in the background. He'll be answering your questions. So uh, if you have a question, type that in the question box, not the chat box. So in the go to webinar control panel, you should, should see questions. If you click the button to raise your hand or simply type in the question box, pick me, Seth and I will turn your mic on live and we can discuss what's going on and we can answer your question live. That way others can learn from your question because what we found out, Seth, over the time is that we've done this, I don't know how many hundreds of times, these webinars. If you're thinking it, chances are others are thinking it as well so we can kind of yeah. collectively learn together there. Uh, second reason for today's call is we want to shed some light on what we do at Post Purchase Pro and how using what we call post-purchase marketing could be beneficial to growing your Amazon business. Because Seth and I, when we started selling on Amazon together, I started in 13, but in 2014, Seth and I got together and started uh, launching products on Amazon in a really big way. And what we found over time is that since I had a background in direct response marketing and Seth actually has a lot of exposure in direct response marketing as well, when we launched our products on Amazon, we started to use Amazon as what we call a profitable customer acquisition channel, meaning that we put a tremendous amount of value on creating a relationship with each customer, all of our end buyers on Amazon, so that we can nurture and fully tap into that relationship in the future to generate more additional, higher profitable sales and uh, reviews and higher ranking on demand. Seth? Yeah, guys, so that's what we're gonna be talking about in a nutshell. Before we get too deep in here, somebody find the questions box and just let us know that we're coming through loud and clear. Um, I'd just like to say hey to a, a few of you guys as, as I see more people logging in. So, hey, David and Greg and Elvir and Terry and Rob and Adriano and uh, Sharon and you know all of you guys that are coming in here, I can't keep up with, with them as they roll mm -hmm. in, but somebody, uh, Somebody type something in the questions box. Just let us know that we're coming through loud and clear and we'll kick this thing off. Remember, we are here for you folks. So any questions you have about any of the strategies that we shared, we're gonna shed some light on that. And then we also wanna show you what we do here at Post Purchase Pro and how you too. Thank could, you, Greg. Uh, there we go. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> so someone's alive besides me. Yes. So, um, so post purchase marketing, is basically defined as all of those juicy activities that happen behind the scenes after your customer makes their initial purchase on Amazon. So in our opinion, the whole mantra of post-purchase pro and post-purchase marketing, thank you, Terry, thank you, Greg, is that the first sale on Amazon is only the beginning of what could be a very long and profitable for both ends relationship. And at the end of the day, Seth, it's what all of major brands around the planet are doing. No one wants to be in the transactional business, meaning that we depend on transactions on a daily basis. Rather, we should want to be in a relationship business. So if you look at your Amazon private label business as a whole, where is the true value in that, David? Where is the value, Greg? Is it in the product that you sell or is it in the customer that you serve? So for Post Purchase Pro, the value for us and our brand, if you want to call it that, is the customer. It's the person, not the product. And that's what we want to help instill in you. So when we first started our journey on Amazon, we ignorantly put a tremendous amount of weight and value 
in nurturing a relationship with our customer. So here's a quick example on how we kind of fell into this accidentally. One of the first products that really took off in a big way for us was a bed pillow, you know, nothing sexy, nothing dramatic or, or, or fun about it. It's just a simple pillow. Everyone uses one or two, right? But with that pillow, we had a, a marketing sort of message inside the pillow that allowed our customer, our end user on Amazon, to come and find out more about how to get better sleep, uh, register an extended warranty for the pillow, and find out how to avoid a lot of the common mistakes that we saw a lot of our uh, end users making. Well, what, that, what happened with that is that Seth and I were able to build a list of about 20,000 end users from our Amazon sales. And so a good friend of ours, uh, Charlie, walks into the office one day. Maybe, maybe you've heard, actually, if you go by this month's issue of Inc. Magazine, you'll see Dr. Charles Livingston in the first three or four pages. He is a co-founder of a company called Life Boost Coffee. Well, Charlie, just like we, had put a tremendous amount of, of effort in building a customer list because obviously his product is consumable and it's a, it's a membership program. So Charlie, as I remember, Seth, he walks into our office one day and we're sitting there talking, you know, just small talk before we go to lunch because he lives right down the street and he looks down and he sees this pile of registration cards sitting on the desk, like the credenza sort of uh, secretarial area. And he's like, what are these? It's like, oh, these are warranty registration cards for this pillow that we've been selling for several months. He goes, how did you get these? He's like, well, our customers buy the pillow. They like the product, so they want to learn more about the brand and how they can get a better night's sleep and, you know, do's and don'ts and how to get the best uh, value from the pillow. So we offer to increase or extend their warranty on the pillow if they'd send in a registration card. And he goes, but you're collecting email addresses, phone numbers? And I said, yeah. Well, what are you going to do with it? And I said, well, Charlie, we haven't done anything yet, but our goal is to reach out to those customers through an email and invite those folks to come in and leave a review on the product to help our ranking. And he just kind of shakes his head and he goes, how many of these emails do you guys have? And Seth, I said, Seth, how many emails do we have? About 20,000. So basically the cards are coming in the mail and we have staff who are going in and, and manually uh, putting these, this, these data, this customer data, name, address, phone number, email into a spreadsheet. And we did absolutely nothing with it. And Charlie like virtually slapped me out of disbelief. He said, do you have any idea how important and how valuable that information is? I'm like, no. I mean, all we're going to do is try to get a review out of it, right? He said, no, 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 no. What you need to do is create sort of a, an email campaign to warm up and nurture that audience and then invite those folks to come back to Amazon and make more purchases. So, you know, how do they say, Seth, the truth is stranger than fiction, right? So that year, Seth and I launched 350 products on Amazon, all private label within 10 months. So it's needless to say, we were pretty darn busy with our day-to-day -day operations. So I said, Charlie, what do you want to do? He goes, if I were you, I would create a brand avatar. I would send out an email and let the folks know that you received a warranty registration, give them a coupon code and a link to your product and have them go on Amazon and buy more. Charlie, why in the heck would anybody need another pillow? They just bought one. How many pillows do you need, right? If you need two, you would have bought two. He said, trust me, this is how we're building our $50 million a year business. I tell you what, Charlie, do this. Why don't you go create a brand avatar you write the email, let me provide you the list, you send it out, let's see what happens. He said, don't worry about it, I got this. What happened, Seth? Yeah, Sean, it was uh, it was absolutely amazing. So he sends out that very first email, which we had never emailed these people before. We didn't know the value of what we were sitting on. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, you know, we refresh the screen and we have 15,000 more sales than what we were expecting. And then we refresh again, we have 18,000. And we refresh again, we have 20,000. So within just a few hours, yeah that one email generated an extra $20,000 in sales that we never ever would have had without Charlie stepping in and saying, hey, look, following up with your customers and making more offers to them is really valuable because they will buy more if you bring it to their attention. And then, Sean, what really got our attention was the aftermath of those sales. It wasn't that we just created $20,000 in sales, it was that Amazon, and we didn't know this at the time, 
but Amazon rewarded us in a massive way for sending high quality external traffic back to our listings. We increased our page ranking for all of our keywords and our um, sales ongoing were higher than they were before. So every time we would send an email, our sales, we would get a sales boost, but then we would also get an increase in our ranking, which would then make our future sales even higher, which would, you know, by as a byproduct, allow more people to opt into our list, making our email and text marketing even more um, uh, effective, Sean. Yeah, so as I was boarding that flight in Delta, in Atlanta on the Delta flight that day, I remember you calling me as I was scanning my boarding pass, and you're like, what the heck's going on? Has our account been hacked? I'm like, what are you talking about? It's like, log in to the Seller Central, uh, the seller app on your phone and check it out. So I log in, it's like, you know, normally that time of day, we're sitting at three, you know, two, three thousand dollars in sales. And we were already at like 15 or 16,000. And by the time I took my seat on the plane and we discussed it, we're like, all right, what did we do different? What's going on? Should we go close this uh, listing down? Did we get hacked? Is this a scam? Then I'm like, Seth, what did we do differently? He said, well, the only thing I can remember that we did differently is that we had Charlie send out that silly email with that panda you know, the sleepy panda, uh, which was part of our brand at the time. And I'm like, okay, so maybe that's what happened. Well, long story short, that's exactly what happened. So not only were we missing the opportunity, we had one piece of the puzzle. We were, we were creating this list. We were growing and managing the customer list, but we weren't tapping into it. This was like literally having the keys to the bank and being too lazy to just open the vault and go in and, and make a withdrawal. So from that point forward, we continued to build a relationship, to build customer lists, to allow our customers to further engage in our brand and find out more about what our product could do for them, how to enhance their experience, get the best results. And we were able to build over 50 unique brands on Amazon, so dozens of brands, and we've exited 17 of those businesses for a large payday since then. 17 Amazon brands have been sold since then. And what we can attribute to the majority of our success and the speed of that success was using what we call post-purchase marketing. So looking at your screen right here, the sale creates or starts the process. The sale leads to an opt-in, then an offer, a conversion, hopefully a review. Amazon rewards you because now you're converting at a higher rate, which increases your ranking. Amazon gives you more traffic, which creates more sales and the process continues. 41% Seth, 41 cents on every dollar we've earned in Amazon comes exactly, it can be directly allocated to this exact process of post-purchase marketing. That's why it's so important that we share this message with you. Now, obviously we've talked about the Amazon listing value stack. We talked about and showed you our tripwire strategy, but all of those strategies, if you will remember, are predicated on having a customer list. Well. Three of those four strategies, Seth, show you how to specifically build and grow a customer list. It's what you do with that list afterward that makes all the difference. So if you do the math, Seth, this is like increasing your sales 67%, right? If 41 cents of every dollar comes from post-purchase marketing, then without that, we would only have 59% of the results, right? If I add that 41 on top of the 59, that's a 67% increase. That's why we can't stress enough, folks, that you, even though you have an amazing, successful business on Amazon, you're leaving a ton of money on the table because you're not taking advantage of a relationship. Amazon owns the data, folks. Amazon owns the customer. If you're not re-engaging that customer, then it's like this. You wake up every morning unemployed, hoping that Amazon shows you enough love to send you more traffic to create more transactions, and it ends there. You're in the transaction business. You're not building an actual brand, Seth. Yeah, Sean, and I think um, we have this conversation all the time, but like every other business in the world, um, all the bigger businesses, what do they really care about? They care about that customer on the other end of the transaction. When, when Nike makes a sale, they want to engage you and bring you back and have you buy more shoes, don't they? But as Amazon sellers, because of the way Amazon's got us trained, we are trained to spend more money on PPC, right? And create transactions. But you don't really realize that on the end of every one of those transactions is a real person that has already engaged with you. They understand and they know your brand because they have your product in their hands. 
but you're not following up with them. You don't have you're, you don't have a direct line of communication with them. Therefore, you're not uh, continuing the relationship and selling them more products. So when Sean says that 41% of our revenue comes from selling our existing customers um, more products, whether it's the same product or a different product in our brand line, he's he's correct. And he's not talking about just consumable products. We sold multiple customers more than 20 bed pillows. Like if we wouldn't have brought that back to them and, and made that offer, they wouldn't have purchased that. So it's a huge opportunity. And so, um, Sean, we were able to hit $1 million per month in our Amazon business because of these uh, factors where we're able to take our customers back through our Amazon listings. And then where this got um, even more exciting for me, Sean, was we had this conversation with an Amazon executive last year. And they said, quote, even if a, um, a high quality traffic source lands on an Amazon listing and it does not convert into a sale, you still move up the ranks because Amazon sees that as a high quality activity where a real Amazon buyer that they can know and track through IP addresses and cookies lands back on your listing. And they're looking around and they gen were generated from an external source. You move up the, the ranking. So if you can get post-purchase marketing right, meaning actually treating every one of those order IDs that you have in your Amazon account as a real customer and have them visit your listings again, you're going to make a lot more sales, not only because they're gonna buy more, but because Amazon's gonna reward you with better ranking. Sean? Think about what Seth just told you. If you send a high quality Amazon shopper back to your listing from an outside source, email or a PPC ad outside of Amazon, doesn't matter. Even if that customer does not make a purchase of your product, Amazon still rewards you with higher page rank because they want external traffic. They don't want external traffic from a guy sitting in a, a coffee shop in Bangladesh just adding things to his wish list. Yeah, that does sp spike the algorithm temporarily, but a high quality, historically proven to make purchases on Amazon person gets higher weight on Amazon and we actually have a recorded phone call with that Amazon executive explaining that to us, okay? I can't share that with you here because obviously it's proprietary, but I can, uh, if you send us, send us an email to uh, cs at postpurchasepro.com and I'll send you a link to where you can listen to it with the voice, um, the voice changing nice. software yeah. that we use to <laughs> save his, uh, to uh, hide his identity, okay? I see the questions are coming in. Rob, I'm gonna get to your question. Elvire, Elver or Elvire, I like that, it's a cool name. I'll get to your question as well. But here's what I want you to think about. If you are every single day creating profitable transactions on Amazon, that is, you're selling products consistently at a profit, then if you use what we're showing you here, post-purchase marketing, then effectively you've turned the entire script on its head. You are creating transactions on Amazon who become part of your brand and the loyalty to that brand. You're doing what we're doing. You're using and leveraging Amazon as a profitable customer acquisition channel. Sure, you can go out and pay for sponsored ads. You can pay for Google ads or YouTube ads or Facebook ads, but Amazon's already sending you traffic. Why not squeeze every ounce of sales and profits from that traffic, right? If you go out and pay for sponsored ads today, and spend $10,000 on ads, and it produces $10,000 in revenue or more, that's fine, but what does that do for you next week, next month, next year? What does that do for the value of your brand? Nothing. You're only creating sales. That's only one part of the puzzle. What you need to be focusing on is creating a relationship that adds value to your brand, enhances the customer experience, and to get to your question, Elver, it's not against terms of service because what we're doing is enhancing the customer's experience with the product. We're providing world-class customer service, which is what Amazon is a huge advocate for, right? What we're not doing is we're not circumventing the sales process. I'm not taking that traffic and sending it to Shopify to make an order or eBay or some other funnel. No, we're sending the traffic back to Amazon to generate more sales, right? Amazon loves that. 
we're not circumventing the process of making sales. We're just enhancing that process and multiplying it. The other thing that we're not doing is we're not manipulating the reviews process. We're not asking our customers through email and text to go leave a review. We'll give you a free unit. You know, just keep it between you and me. That's not what we're doing. The, the reviews come natural because we're building a, a natural organic relationship with the end user of our product. And that's the magic in what we're doing here. So think about that. I'm making sales on Amazon. What if Amazon ceases to exist or support my product tomorrow? It's happened to us more than once. No problem. We have a customer list. We have a loyal following that of customers who like our brand, who know, like, and trust our product, and who are willing to show that support by purchasing again and again. I don't know what you do with 20 bed pillows. All I know is that we, we created those transactions by making a relationship with the customer, nurturing the relationship, and then making offers, all right? At the end of the day, not everyone wants to be on your list. I don't wanna be on your list. Seth certainly don't want you marketing bed pillows to him, but how are you in a position to speak for everyone else that are buying your product. It's not up to us, Seth, to answer the question, right? It's up to us to ask the question. And the question is, what percentage of your audience wants to hear from you? What percentage of your buyers on Amazon are willing to do more business with you? And that's exactly what we're orchestrating through post-purchase marketing, Seth. Yeah, Sean, I, actually we had the same conversation with uh, another Amazon executive and we said, here's exactly what we're doing. <clears throat> we're supporting the product experience and we're taking that traffic and, and uh, sending it back to Amazon. And the executive said, that's absolutely fine. The things that you want to avoid are paying for and manipulating reviews or using uh, special links to try to manipulate search. And we're not doing any of that. All we're doing is providing amazing customer service, amazing product experience, and then taking that traffic and then having them come back and buy more from us on Amazon. So Greg, your question is, how can we get them to communicate with us without breaking TOS? Well, every product, every niche, every brand is gonna be different. So for instance, in our bed pillow um, scenario, we had a completely different angle um, on our insert and a completely different support system for that product than we would have if we were selling an office chair. So for our bed pillow example, you know, the product was compressed. It was a memory foam pillow. It looked like it was getting ready to explode, right? And on that product, we just had a stop sign sticker on the product and it said, hey, before you open this pillow, um, watch this very important instructional video. And here's the thing, 88% of our customers came and watched the video and opted in to receive ongoing value um, instruction about the product and that was completely fine. And that's the list and that's the experience that kind of kicked this whole thing off for us and uh, showed us how valuable this whole procedure is. And so now we have two main ways of building our, our Amazon customer list. One is we actually design an insert, which would be a card or a sticker that goes along with your product um, that would cause somebody to see it, um, see the value in it, and then come and opt in and join your list. And then number two, the second way that people opt in is we actually can go and uh, go back into the back end of your Amazon account to the origin of your account. So like when you guys first started selling on Amazon and get all of the order data out, out of the account, like your customer's names and your customer's physical addresses. Well, that doesn't sound very useful, does it? But it is, and here's why. So if I have a file of your customer's names and your customer's physical addresses, I can use a process called data point matching and we can match about 50% of your customer's real emails and phone numbers for email and text marketing to all of that data. So as an example, if you took 100,000 orders over the last 12 months, um, just as an example, um, we would get that data out of Amazon and then we would be able to match about 50,000 emails and phone numbers to start your email marketing process. And then every single day, as people see your inserts, your stickers and your cards that are riding along with your products, more people are opting in, more people are adding to your list. So it becomes a snowball effect, Sean. Yeah, so remember, 41% of all the revenue we've driven in our business, and we've sold, um, I think we did put some quick calculations to it the other day, it was over $150 million. 41 cents on every dollar comes from that relationship, comes from our existing customers. Just think about how profound that could be for your business. So obviously we have a lot of tools and tactics and strategies that we like to share openly, but at the end of the day, Post Purchase Pro is, 
is, is a, a, a business that provides an end-to-end, -end, complete A to Z, no pun intended, Seth, email <laughs> marketing solution built and written specifically for Amazon sellers. Why? Because that's what we use. We use the Amazon platform to create and grow and manage huge customer lists that we can then leverage to not only launch new products, but sell more of our existing products. And you can do exactly the same. Obviously you can do this on your own, but Post Purchase Pro is a done for you solution. We have hundreds of clients that we represent all over the world in almost every single niche and category available on Amazon. So part of what we do is we help you we do it for you completely. After we understand your brand, we will create a high converting product insert, not based on theory, based on real data that we've gotten not only from our business, but from our well over 300 clients all over the world in every single category. To put it simply, Seth, we know what makes a customer from Amazon move forward to opt into your list so that you can market to them. And then our company creates for you a complete, what fundamental, we call it our fundamental 14 email sequence to bring your existing customers as well as your future customers into your sales funnel, all right? And we warm them up and nurture them so that we can send follow-up email marketing messages to them, all right? And that's what we do on a weekly basis. Once your customer's warm, we continue to drip on them and let them know about your brand and your product in a fun and in sort of informational way. Normally this happens around holidays or current events, something like St. Patrick's Day or something like that. Hey, happy St. Patty's Day. Hope you're having a good time. You know, may the luck of the Irish be with you. Oh, by the way, remember we sell claw hammers on Amazon. If you ever need another one, here's the link to the product and here's a 10% off coupon code. I'm just making that stuff up. We warm up your current list and we send those ongoing email messages. Everyone knows that your customer needs to hear from you to stay top of mind, but no one knows what to say, how to say it, when to say it, how often to say it, or how to stay, like Greg says, within terms of service. That's where we come in. We do this for you. Everything we do is completely terms of service compliant. I challenge you right now, go find any major name brand consumer package product that does not have contact information on the package. Questions or comments, dial this number. Questions, go to this URL, find out more about the product, find the, the, the uh, best use or yeah, best use guide at this URL, every single one of them. I don't care if you're Nike. I don't care if you're Bayer Aspirin. I don't care what product you find out there. There's nothing, absolutely nothing specifically written in terms of service that says that you cannot provide contact information on your packaging. We don't even do that. We provide contact information inside the packaging in the instructional manual or in what we call a product insert, which is basically a marketing message that rides along with the product. We're not asking you to cheat. We're not asking you to circumvent the sales process. We're not asking for a review. We're just asking you if you'd like to learn how to better use our product, how to get the best results and how we can do a better job of providing customer experience or customer service. All right. We create for you a complete customer acquisition funnel where your customer will willingly, that's the key here. If I don't want to opt in, guess what? I don't care. I don't read the marketing message. If I do want to engage your brand rather, I'll go to a particular URL, a funnel that we build for you, and I'll opt in because I want to hear from you. I want to learn more about your brand and the story, and I want to know how I can get the best use out of your product. We manage that customer list for you. This means that you don't have to lift a finger to do anything. Our company, if you want us to, we can completely manage that customer list A to Z from start to finish, always optimizing and removing non-engaged customers, preserving the data, but taking them off your list because they don't want to hear from you, all right? We manage that email service provider for you, that ESP. And then here's the key, Seth, one of the things about our program, obviously it's not free, but if you're spending money as a business person, you wanna know that you have a return on an investment, right? For every dollar you put out, that should return something of value to you. So if you allow post-purchase marketing to do all this for you, you also get your own personalized dashboard. It's a private dashboard that you can log into anytime you want, 24 seven, around the clock. And you can see exactly what your email list growth is month over month. The 
click-throughs to your listing on Amazon, how much traffic is converting on your listing, and an actual dollar amount, sales dollars generated from the marketing that we do for you. It makes it a no-brainer. I'm spending a dollar, I'm receiving $3 in sales. It's a no-brainer, right? All the while, you're managing and growing a customer list that makes your brand more valuable, allows you to generate more sales and reviews on demand as needed, and so on. That's what we do. What do we get out of that, Seth? Oh, you get a lot. So, <clears throat> so um, let me just give a quick example because I know I speak to a lot of people and the, the question that always comes up, Sean, is what can this really do for my business? Like, how big of an opportunity is this going to be for us? So, let me just paint the picture for you. So, I told you about the two different ways that we build your list. One is we actually get about 50% of your historical orders um, on a real email, and then we get you know, between five and 30% on average, um, people opting in from your insert every single day. So your list is gonna grow over time. But let's just go with our example that we did a minute ago where you had 100,000 orders over the last 12 months. We started with 50,000 emails. What we're shooting for is about a $2 in value gain every single month for every active email address on your list. So if you just, you know, rough math here, you had 50,000 emails on your list, we're shooting for a $2 per gain uh, gain per month per active email. That's $100,000 per month in gain to your business. Now, that gain breaks down like this. About $1 of that $2 gain is going to be actual sales generated from the emails that we're sending. That's actual trackable sales that we're sending. And then the other dollar that you're going to be getting is from all of the other benefits that you get by sending high quality traffic back to Amazon, like increase keyword ranking so you show up higher so you actually make more sales you get more reviews because their customers are happier and we can actually ask them to come and leave us a review you have increased conversion and overall lower return so um on uh, average that's kind of what we're seeing so if if you're thinking to yourself how big of an opportunity is this then that's the kind of math that you can do for your own business right now and put it in perspective sean so basically if you allow us now now i want to reiterate you're more than welcome to go out and create these email campaigns and these SMS marketing campaigns on your own. It's not impossible. It's a tremendous amount of work and there's a lot, of, lot to learn, a lot of integrations. But if you're not doing anything with this, I implore you, please go do something. If you're like me and you want to let the professionals do the work, you don't want to mow your own lawn, you don't want to wash your own boat, then you hire a professional and that's where we come in, okay? So I will answer your questions about how you can do this on your own, but let me show you how we do this for you. And don't worry, Rob, uh, I'm gonna get to your question and you, Elvar, Elvar, Elver, you're gonna have to show me how to pronounce Elvere. it. I'm gonna turn your mic on here. <laughs> Elvere, thank you. So this allows you to sell way more on Amazon. Remember, 41 cents on every dollar. That means 67% increase. We've seen across the board, not only in our business, but in our hundreds of clients all over the world, you, this allows you to raise your profit margins because look, you're not paying for sponsored traffic anymore and you're getting repeat buyers from your email list. This means that you don't have to, you don't have to pay for the traffic. You own the traffic. Remember what I said? If you buy sponsored ads, yes, you get a boost in sales today. What does that do for you next week? Almost nothing. You can launch new products to your existing list without giving away your products. I hate giving away products for free or rebates. In fact, it's against terms of service. It allows you to get more reviews, create a list of fans. You can lower your returns because you're creating better customer experience, right? Better customer service, eliminate negative reviews, increase your search term rankings because remember, we were told by an insider and we've, we've proven it on our own independently that good quality traffic back to an Amazon listing doesn't have to convert to a sale for Amazon to show you more quote unquote love. You're able to cross sell other products. You can generate massive amounts of repeat orders and take control. You can send this traffic anywhere you like. That's how we like to send them to your, we create a sales funnel for you as part of our process. It allows your customer to re-engage with your brand outside of the Amazon platform without breaking any rules. Okay. So, at the end of the day, and I'm seeing the questions coming in. Don't worry, we're going to get it right. Seth got the name right. How do you say it again? Elvir. Elvir. Thank you. So, post-purchase post, post purchase pro. 
We'll build a high converting product insert for you, which is going to answer your question, Rob. Set up and manage an email autoresponder that you'll use for marketing your products, right? We do all that for you. We manage and grow your customer contact list for you. We create, host, and manage your own multi-step customer acquisition funnel for you. Yes, we build out your website and all the steps that go with it. We design and script all of your email marketing messages for you and continuously test and optimize all these elements to drive more sales for you. And you ask, well, Sean, can you guarantee results? Here's what I can guarantee you. We call this our ironclad money back guarantee. If we can't produce what we promise for you, then we give your money back. You'll see the promised results from what we do and we put our name on it. If you don't get everything that you see here, then guess what? All the work that we've done won't ever cost you a penny because we will refund every single penny and you get to keep all the hard work and all of the upcoming Amazon bonuses that I'm about to show you and give for free just for trying us out. Now, why would I make an offer this good, Seth? Simply because I'm confident in your success because I see it happen every single day. Here's what we're offering. Everything done for you, inserts, opt-in funnels, email warm-up sequence, ongoing email marketing, data point matching service. Yes, we can go find your customer's real emails so that you can hit the ground running with this. We do endless optimizations. Your account manager will constantly tweak your email campaigns and your funnels to get the maximum amount of opt-ins. Complete email and SMS text message marketing management. We integrate all the software so you don't have to learn anything new. You don't have to know anything about coding and you get our world-class 24-7 support. If you'd like to join us, you can go to postpurchasepro.com slash 597, but I must warn you, this offer will expire at midnight Sunday, which is gonna be the 27th, Sunday, March 27th at midnight Pacific time. So don't wait. Seth, before I get back into Q&A, let's talk about these amazing five bonuses that we put together just to get you to make the decision that is right for your business. And that is join Post Purchase Pro. Allow us to use our magic post-purchase marketing to enhance your Amazon business completely hands-off for you. That means you don't have to do any of the hard work, Seth. Yeah, definitely. So bonus number one, Sean, is $2,000 cash back from Amazon. Well, what does that mean? Well, these are Amazon reimbursements where um, you might, might ship inventory to Amazon. You might be charged an incorrect fee. Um, well, for instance, when you ship inventory at Amazon, uh, the people in the warehouse might lose uh, a unit or two, or they might lose an entire pallet. Like in our case, we had it happen to us one time. Well, um, long story short, there's a lot of money that Amazon owes you. And if you don't bring it to their attention, then, um, it's kind of lost money. So we have a partnership with a, uh, with a service provider in the space where they're going to give you the first $2,000 of reimbursements for free. So basically that, Basically, it's like finding $2,000 worth of found money in your Amazon account. Uh, bonus number two <clears throat> is we have a um, massive, massive list that we've accumulated over the years, like with our pillow brand. And like we've launched over 1,000 private label products. We've sold more than a million dollars uh, per month for many, many months. So we've generated a ton of transactions. So we have these massive amounts of email um, lists where we promote products to. So what the second bonus is, is we will actually pick a list that matches your industry and your niche, and we will send an email out to 25,000 Amazon shoppers to promote your product. You can use this to do uh, a small discount, you know, 10, 20% off and create sales. But more importantly, what you're gonna see is ranking. So if you have a product that's new, or if you have a product that needs some help getting on the ranking side, or if you just wanna make more sales, use that bonus for that. Um, bonus number three is um, several years ago, Amazon actually used to rank all of their reviewers um, in order from the top reviewer all the way through the top uh, 2000th reviewer. And the special thing was Amazon actually made their contact information viewable. So we had our staff go through and capture every single one of their email addresses. So we're actually gonna give you that list of the top 2000 Amazon reviewers that you can have as your own personal asset for your business and you can do with it what you'd like. Uh, bonus number four is we actually do what we call pro seven launches. It's where you just tell us the ASIN and you tell us the start date and we will create a seven day email sequence specifically designed for one of your products to generate more sales and ranking 
on demand. So you can do an unlimited number of those. So it's not just for new products, it's for old products, it's for products that need to be ranked, and it's for any products that you want to move sales up on. So you can um, submit a form to us and we'll do all the heavy lifting. We'll create all the email sequences whenever you'd like. Um, and then number five, we're gonna show you how to get that Amazon order data. I know Rob, you were asking, how do we get it if we don't ship um, FBM? For all of the people using FBA, you you uh, are right. If you log into your Seller Central account and you go to your orders tab, you can't see your customer's information. But we're gonna show you a way that you can actually get that and then we can use it to get a real email address for your customer. So it's super valuable because if you can take all of the order data that already exists in your account and finally access it, which most sellers don't know how to do, and then we can turn it into emails, we can turn those emails into more ranking and most importantly, more sales for your business almost immediately, Sean. Yeah, so what we're doing here is we're making an offer that makes this a complete no-brainer for you. Everyone knows that the real value is in building a brand and the real value in the brand is not in the product, it's in the trust that you get from your customer. It's in the end user. The value is the people, right? The people, not the product. So we're trying to show you an easy way to get started. If you engage Post Purchase Pro, we can do all this for you. It's normally $1,000 per month. In fact, I challenge you to go right now, go to postpurchasepro.com. And what you're going to find is, oh, I'm sorry, we're full right now. And we're a thousand bucks a month. Okay. Because we don't always accept new clients through this very special invitation that we designed for those of you who we've engaged through the billion dollar seller summit, as long as our, uh, as well as our friends over at seller.tools, we've made this offer specifically for you. You can join at 40% off. It's going to cost you $597 a month. And since it does take a, a month or six weeks or so to get things all moving for you, we wanted to create an offer that you said, hey, look, I can't lose on this. You get all the bonuses that you see on your screen here, a value of over $8,500 just to join us for $597. Even if you end up not seeing the results that you want or that we promised, and in the very rare occasion that you say, hey, guys, this isn't working. I'm out. Give me my money back. No problem. No harm. No foul. Not only do you get your money back, but you get to keep all of these bonuses for as long as you like and all of the hard work that we've already created, your email sequences, you own and control those, all the assets that we create for you, you own and control those. Our team builds a world-class sophisticated sales and acquisition funnel for you. You own and control that, all right? You cannot lose here. That's why we give it all to you, just 597, and we're gonna hand you $8,500 worth of bonuses. You can't even get these bonuses if you book a sales call with our sales team. They can't offer this. It's only available now until Sunday, all right, which is March 27th at midnight Pacific time. If you go to postpurchasepro.com slash 597, you see the little countdown timer? When that timer hits zero, 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 this offers out the window and you may or may not get a chance to join us in the future. We have to be very selective about who we work with, okay? We don't have the capacity for thousands and thousands of sellers. It's only by invitation through specific and uh, joint venture partnerships like we have with Billion Dollar Seller Summit as well as Seller.Tools. Today, you can join for just $5.97. Get it done. Seth, show, tell them what the uh, sign-up process looks like, and then we'll get yeah. all these questions answered. Yeah, sounds good. So, guys, it's really simple. All you're going to do is go to postpurchasepro.com forward slash 597. You'll see everything that we just talked about there. All the bonuses are going to be included. Um, you're going to go ahead and sign up. As soon as you sign up, you'll land on a page where you will book your onboarding call with us. You're going to have a call with your onboarding specialist, and then you're going to fill out your intake form. You're going to come to your onboarding call with your intake form, and we're going to go through all the details about your brand and your business, and we're going to nail down the strategy that we're going to use to create all of these post-purchase marketing assets. Um, once we complete that call with you, and we have everything we need, we're going to go to work. Um, a couple of weeks later, we're going to come back to you with your insert to include in your products. We're going to have shown you how to get that customer order data out of your account. We're going to have your emails written, your funnels created, all your integration set up, and we're going to say, hey, take a look at all this and make sure it's on brand for you. If we need to make any uh, tweaks at that point, we will. Um, otherwise, you'll give us the green light and say, uh, you guys are ready to go live and we'll start producing results. The next thing that's going to happen is you're going to have access to a dashboard where you'll log in 
whenever you'd like and check on the status of the results that we're producing. So basically, um, it's really, really simple. Go to the URL, get signed up, do your onboarding call, and then we'll go to work producing results for you. Yep, definitely. So postpurchasepro.com slash 597 to get started. You get everything you see on your screen here, plus our money back guarantee. You'll get your own dedicated account manager to guarantee your success, or you get all your money back and you get to keep all the bonuses. I don't know what else I can give you. So in all fairness, I have to tell you, we have a, a hard stop in 11 minutes. We do. So right now, I want to get to the questions. Rob, you ask a question. Is Rob still here? Let me look. Right. He is. Yep, Rob's still here. So Rob, you might want to pay attention. I'm going to address your question now. Rob says, and I don't want to talk about the product, but Rob says, how do we launch a blank brand? How to do that as there is very high competition. So Rob, this is what you need to do. Uh, first thing to do is look at my strategy that I shared. It's in your email, or if you if you watched us at the Billion Dollar Seller Summit, it's called the Amazon Listing Value Stack. No, no, I'm sorry, scratch that. <laughs> I'm confusing <laughs> myself. It's called the Amazon Listing Tripwire. Okay, so if you go to listingtripwire.com, go ahead and type it in the question box there, Seth. Listingtripwire.com, that URL you can see the strategy that we use to enter the market that in a highly competitive product. In a nutshell, Rob, what you're gonna do is find a product that plays well with the product that you really wanna launch. Something that, and use your imagination, I'm looking at what you wanna sell here, and there are thousands of products out there that you can use for this. Find something that's low barrier to entry, that's a low priced, you can launch this thing and, and sell for just a few dollars. You break even, all right, while you dominate that market in that low price product, for example, in, in the training that you're gonna see, you'll see how we wanted to sell this pillow, but the pillow was just like you're talking about, Rob, it was very highly competitive, and it was gonna cost us 250 grand because of the high minimum order quantities. Well, instead of selling the pillow, we launched a sleep mask, and we did a breakthrough price on that at $3.99 or $4.99, I can't remember. At the end of the day, everyone else was $12, $13, we made ours the no-brainer by creating an offer they couldn't refuse. We we know this as a mafia offer for $5.99 or $4.99, whatever it was. And we were able to sell 250,000 sleep masks, opt in 20% of those people and have a list of 50,000 buyers who are obviously already uh, interested in sleep products. We then used that list of buyers to launch our pillow product. Bam, went straight to the top of page one for our best search term. We we Managed that business for two years, getting about uh, 900000 a year in profits. So we pocketed $1.8 million and then sold the business for $3.6 million or three point three six three million three hundred sixty thousand. You can find out about that in detail at listingtripwire.com or go buy our book on Amazon. It's called Private Label Millionaire Secrets. It looks about like this. Uh, everything that we talked about, it's in this book. Go grab it now. Uh, we just released it last month, Private Label Millionaire Secrets. I think Amazon marked it down 80%. You can grab it for $3.99. Ridiculous. Hopefully that answers your question, Seth. Yep. We got Rob eight had more another question here. He says, uh, yeah, we have eight minutes left. How He, he was wanting us to show um, how to get the Amazon FBA customer data. Rob, we had a, uh, a client the other day said the same thing. He said, um, I want to be sure that you guys can get that data. And we just said, okay, we'll put it in the agreement because we don't show anyone who's not under an NDA how to get that because it's actually one of our uh, you know, trade secrets, right? So Rob, we'll just put it in the agreement with you that says we guarantee that we can show you how to get that customer data. Otherwise, uh, we'll give you all your money back. So um, that is not something that uh, we are concerned with in the slightest because we do it every day, Rob. Let's see. What else we have for questions? Um, Elvira says, can we use an Amazon attribution link with all of our emails for the 10% brand referral bonus? Uh, let's see here. Elvira, we have um, had a couple people ask to do that. Now, here's the thing though, Elvira, we're good with you using that, but it handicaps us from a marketing side because we actually read the results of your email marketing every single day. So um, when you use the Amazon attribution link, we can't see the data. 
we can't log into 300 plus different Amazon seller accounts. First of all, for privacy, we don't want to log into your account. But secondly, because that would be a huge nightmare. So we actually use a different tracking system. We use Amazon Associates. That way we can get all the data in one place. And here's how we use that, Elvir. We actually send an email. We read the results. We know how many people opened it, how many people clicked on it, how many people purchased. And then we can say, okay, that went well or it didn't go as well as what we expected. So we need to make some changes. So we're constantly changing things to get better and better results. So like I said, we're comfortable if you wanna use those links, but just realize that means that we can't read the results. So we can't make those split test changes like we should to optimize your campaigns over time. Hopefully that helps. Yep, I think we've uh, we've answered all the questions. So if you're still here, I see uh, dozens of you here. If you have a question, ask it now. We have six minutes before we absolutely have to leave this call. You will get a copy and an email and, where you can go watch this replay. Nothing fancy. Uh, we're just sharing what we do at Post Purchase Pro and how we can do that for you, uh, just like we do it for ourselves. So if you'd like to mic up, just uh, say, pick me or raise your hand in the in the control panel and we'll turn your mic on and we can discuss your question or concern live so that everyone else can learn. Let's give them a couple more minutes here in case somebody has a question. So. Yeah. How much does it cost to match customer data with an email address? Great question, Seth. Yep, so let's imagine that you had 10,000 customers that you were trying to match. We'd probably find about um, half of that. So we'd have 5,000 emails that we're gonna be uh, matching for you. And the third-party data providers that we use typically charge about 10 cents per match. So if you had 5,000 emails that we were finding, it would be a $500 charge. The great thing though is that you're gonna own that data forever. You're only going to pay the $500 once. So it's like investing into traffic that you'd buy through sponsored ads, but you only get to um, have to invest one time and then you get to use the traffic forever. So it's about 10 cents an email on average per match. Let's see, here we have five minutes left, everyone. That's funny. I uh, my fiber internet stopped working, but now I'm on uh, Elon Musk satellite internet, and it's working perfectly. Yeah, that, that seems to be a common or a common theme for you, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, here's a question: How often are emails delivered to spam versus the inbox? Any way to measure this? Yes, Seth, you want to address that? Yeah. So um, we track that stuff very. Um, uh, aggressively so we're always trying to optimize for deliverability so we're going to have suggestions for you on your url we actually scrub and clean your list before we ever send an email um, we're shooting for high high open rates so like when we send an email out the very first time for um, a client the other day there was a 57 percent open rate and if you're familiar with email marketing the very first time you send an email to a list normally would not have a 57% open rate. So we're getting really good results just because we, we do this every single day. It's our complete focus and we know how to get the, the bad actors off of the list. We know how to get you deliverability. We know which service providers to use and which not to use. So we are tracking the effectiveness of your deliverability, your open rates, your click-through rates, all of that. So good question, Elvir. Yep, real good question. All right, let's try to wrap this up, Seth, um, so that we can get on to our next call that starts in three minutes. Yep. So if you have a burning question, send it right now. Uh, we will answer one more. And then, like I said, if you need to show this to a colleague, a partner, something like that, then uh, just check your email later on today. You should get the notification as soon as this video recording is rendered. So uh, my name is Sean Hart. I'm a co-founder with, along with Seth Stevens of Post Purchase Pro. We've used post-purchase marketing to dramatically increase sales and ranking in our Amazon business. We've done over $153 million in sales to date of our own brands, okay? Not to mention uh, over a billion for our clients, but we do capture, manage, and leverage customer lists, and we share that with you. We have a done-for-you product, Post-Purchase Pro. Right now, you can join us for $5.97 per month. It's closed outside of this offer. If you go to postpurchasepro.com, it's not even available. We're temporarily on hold for onboarding new clients. But if you go to postpurchasepro.com, like you see on your screen there, slash 597, 
you can join us today and get all these juicy bonuses absolutely free. You're still covered by our money back guarantee. And listen, we're not asking you to make a permanent decision and carve it in stone, but we're asking you to make an informed decision about our service. The only way you can make an informed decision to know if Post Purchase Pro will work for you is from the inside, not from the outside where you are now. So go join us, book your onboarding call. Let's see if it's a good fit for you. If it's not, no problem. We just part ways friends and it doesn't cost you a penny. Otherwise, go to postpurchasepro.com slash 597 right now and join us. You'll sure be glad you did and watch your sales grow, watch your ranking boost and your reviews come in naturally and organically. Seth, take us out of here. Yeah, Sean, we only have like 30 seconds left before we jump on our next call, guys. But if you have any other questions uh, before this offer ends, you can shoot an email to cs at postpurchasepro.com. That's for customer service. Uh, we'll get right back to you. But otherwise, uh, feel free to join us. And when we do your onboarding call, if for some reason your business and your brand is just not a good fit for us, we'll decide that at that moment and we'll refund you. So it's not a, uh, like Sean said, it's not a permanent decision. So go ahead and jump in now. Um, while you get all the bonuses and while the price has been uh, pretty pretty dramatically reduced there, Sean. Great. So I'm Sean Hart. That's Seth Stevens. Hopefully we'll see you on the inside. If not, just uh, look us up on uh, YouTube and Facebook. We're always sharing Absolutely. cool strategies. Go grab your copy of the book, Private Label Millionaire Secrets, right away, and we'll talk to you next time. Take care, everyone.